The Dynalux Radio Hour brings you another exciting chapter of Zap Pow's science fiction adventures for shut-ins and other malcontents, titled Planet of the Gorilla Suit, written by Guy Benoit. Chapter 8, Beneath the Planet of the Gorilla Suit. When we last left our heroes, two of Lepton the Lethal's robots had placed the brain broiler on Izarla's head. No, no! Ah, yes! The brain broiler will blister your grey matter until there is nothing left. A particularly horrible way to die. Activate it. The brain broiler emits a terrible electrical hissing. Smoke emerges from poor Izarla's scalp. Her face contorts. Her eyes twitch. Left on the lethal, by way of her screen, cackles in an evil fashion. Bucky Dicky, Rep Dicky, El Roca, and Dr. Von Braud, surrounded by sentry robots, look on helplessly. Azarla twitches uncontrollably as smoke billows out from under the helmet. Suddenly, Bucky Dicky remembers the scissors he swiped away from Rat earlier. Bucky Dicky pulls the scissors from his pocket, leaps forward between the two sentry robots, and cuts the wires on the torturous brain broiler. An overwhelmed Azarla collapses. Hey! And now... Bucky Dicky jams the scissors into the nearest sentry robot's head. Let's go! In the confusion, Bucky Dicky throws Izarla over his shoulder. Our heroes escape. Bucky Dicky, carrying Izarla, Rhett Dicky, Dr. Von Braud, and Ulroka dash through the hallways. Rhett Dicky quickly overtakes everyone. You'd move a lot faster if you put her down. Just run, Rhett! Indeed! Our heroes approach a hatch in the wall. In here! Red Decky throws open the hatch and jumps inside. Our remaining heroes follow suit. The room is filled with sentry robots. Oh! Red, stop screaming! Red had the right idea. Why aren't we screaming? These robots haven't been activated yet. They would have attacked by now otherwise. The sentry robots stand stock still. Hmm, you're right. El Roca gently pushes on one of the inert robots. It begins to tip over, threatening to cause a domino effect. El Roco and Dr. Von Braud straighten it out. Ah! Uh... Izarla looks up. She sees the sentry robots. <laughs> it's all right, Izarla. These things are out of commission. Phew! We have to figure out the way out of here. We have to get that bomb back, too. The way I figure it, Lepton the Lethal has to have a few spare flying saucers lying around this place. We plant the bomb, set the timer, grab a flying saucer, fly back to Earth, sell the alien technology to the highest bidder, split the cash, I buy a house in Gold Spring. Izarla, are you feeling all right? I have a headache. Do you have enough energy to break out of this sardine can? Plenty. Yeah, we'll need all our strength for this one. I do have an idea. A few minutes later, a troop of four sentry robots, obviously Bucky Dicky, Rhett Dicky, Dr. Von Braud, and El Roca in disguise, lead Izarla down the hallway. She has a sign around her neck saying, Prisoner, do not remove. Now, just play it cool and let me do the talking. Who is that speaking? You bet, Izarla. At that very moment, a sentry robot blocks their path. Who are you? I am a prisoner. I am to be executed after lunch. What is your crime? I said mean things about left in the lethal. You may pass. Try to keep your nose clean between now and your demise. I shall. I do have a question, however. Yes? A large bomb was left behind, misplaced earlier. Would you happen to know where it is? Basement storage. Thank you. Our heroes walk past the sentry robot scot-free. That is, until Rhett Dickey throws off his robot costume and attacks the sentry robot. Aha! Rhett, what are you doing? We must take advantage of the element of surprise. An alarm sounds. The sentry robot throws Rhett Dickey to the floor. Suddenly, the hallway is blocked by sentry robots. Will our heroes be killed by Rhett's stupidity? Tune in tomorrow for another action-packed episode of Planet of the Gorilla Suit.